actually maybe in the bottom three for their lunchtime win today. It would actually propel them up to seventh in the table. That's how things can change so early on in the season. In fact, they could even go higher if they won by a few. And you can be assured that Tony Pulis would have made that point exactly. It's West Ham who are looking to make an early impression though, and Ryan Shawcross has to turn that away from Carlton Cole. season-long loan from Inter Milan, played at the World Cup for Nigeria. No joy there for Mark Noble, it's a stoke throw. And that's the other factor West Ham will have to overcome. The volume in the Britannia is probably the loudest of any stadium in the Premier League. <laughs> An intimidating arena in the Padres. Here's Benarami. Parker. Jakobsen. Waters stepped in to pitch it off Parker. Now Kenwin Jones. Mark Noble with the tug of his shirt and eventually a tackle. The referee quite leaning on him there. Very much so. The West Ham looking to concede possession so early in the game, they must be aware that Stoke win balls back very, very quickly. De Costa appearing for the first time this season. Jakobsen, who joined West Ham from Blackburn. No, Javita Elunga at left back for West Ham today. He was injured in training in midweek. No Kieran Dyer on the bench either after being told yesterday that he wouldn't be starting. There are reports in this morning's newspapers that he had a major bust up with Avram Grant. Upson up towards Cole who's dealt with by Shawcross. What do you make of that uh, Kieran Dyer situation here? Uh, the fact that he's not on the bench, I'd say those paper stories might have a bit of credibility. We don't quite know yet. Just shows you that he's fit, he wants to play. And as much as you might be unhappy, there's been some verbal confrontation. If there has, you, you're happy the fact that he's committed and 